Before we start fears to fathom, Northwood Hitchhike. By the way, Medium. I send you the crying guy from Jack and Daxter. Oh! Is this a good idea? <laughs> Took 30 minutes to get to the actual game. What we're doing is more of a suggestion on this stream. If you have a story to share, send it to fears to fathom stories at gmail.com. I never got an email back from Miyamoto san. For those who weren't here, there was a number in the game parasocial that I could not call, but I could text. So I texted it. I said, hello, is this Mr. Miyamoto san? And no one responded to my message. Should I send them a picture that's like my model looking down and it has the Snapchat thing? It says, I played your game. Please respond. <laughs> Well, this happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help even if it's just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I go to every Final Fantasy 14 fan fest. This is pretty. Is this a real song? This sounds a lot like Cage the Elephant's new style. Are any of you watching the new Goosebumps show on Hulu and Disney? Also, thank you for the lurk, Angel Reaper. I saw you. It's really good. They're nailing that old Goosebumps feel. All of the CG is super campy. We watched uh, episodes, I think, two and three last night. It was very, very fun. It was the episodes with the... Um, not... I, I don't know if this is spoilers because it's it's the same stories that you've seen before. But the first episode focused on the Polaroid camera. Say cheese or die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, quick disclaimer. I didn't grow up with Goosebumps. I saw it when it was on, and that's how I watched it. But I didn't actively read it or watch it. I was reading Stephen King books and things when I was young and into horror. <laughs> you know, there's an episode per story. It's all intertwined. So before they... So we're on episode three. And they haven't finished up the Polaroid stories for Chase, Say Cheese or Die, but they're already into the Cuckoo Clock in another story. So we're already like three or four in and they're all running alongside each other. And it's, it's kind of interesting. All right. What do you guys want from Mickey D's? You called? Yeah, I think I'm going to that convention. Could I get your car for like five days, please? With who? <laughs> it's got an achievement. With who? Aiden, that internet friend? He's a nice guy. No, you're not going on a 10 hour drive by yourself. Well, I've already made up my mind. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? Let's talk when I get home. Drive safe, Holly. What? 20 piece anything chicken else? nuggets. Leave, leaving now. Bro, that's like $6. Oh my God. <laughs> Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Does anybody know this song? No. How? How? Vegan Milky. <laughs> there's no way this developer ensured there's collision on everything. No, 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 no. I need you to stay up there. I want to take my milk with me. Yes! Wait, put your car against the window. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens if we get too many physics calculations at once going. Because I feel like something has to happen. I really exploited a glitch in the simulation and stole an item, but I couldn't take it with me. Rail's too lazy to program for it. <laughs> if we, oh, there's a car. Come here. I wasn't the best at driving. <laughs> Country roads take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia. Found my Country roads pretty Take me home. where are we did we cry a rabbit there's this very weird thing about that night i i saw two big logs in the <laughs> real i thought i could drive past the logs but they wouldn't budge <laughs> is the rabbit okay why is there a bridge right here did we cross a bridge no, you didn't. Yeah, we didn't go under this. Oh! All right! Okay! All right! All right! Nope! 
No! 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 that gave me the same feeling I had when I was very young, and I, I was convinced there was somebody in our house when I came home from school. No one was. There was no one in the house. But I called my... Fucking... Rude! I called my aunt, and I was crying, and I, I was just telling her, I don't want to go into the house. I'm scared somebody's here. That gave me that same feeling. Uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. All right, asshole. My lights are on and everything, but I'm not paying attention. Pure evil. I mean, I'm not going to stop and help somebody like that. I'll call the local non-emergency line for their local, like their county sheriff or something, though. Like, hey, out on this road, there's a person stranded. I just passed them. They're by themselves. Y'all need to check on them. I, I, people are dangerous. <laughs> You're the girl from the gas station. Oh, it's you! Didn't think anyone would stop for me here. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. Man, don't tell people this. Don't ever tell people in a middle in the middle of a rural area in the middle of nowhere with no cell service when nobody knows where your location is that you cannot contact another human being. That is incredibly unsafe. Hold on, I have a lot of milk, guy. <laughs> no cell service. <laughs> he looks back, and I'm like, I'm like holding 80 cartons of milk in my arms, <laughs> walking towards. <laughs> I'm with the dairy police. We recently confiscated these. <laughs> what do you tell them? <laughs> yeah, I robbed a store. That were having a cow over it. I made out utterly like a bandit. I dare you to report me to the police. <laughs> Those are cheesy jokes. Well, I've got a whole lot of them. <laughs> How do I close it? You need to hurry up. I don't have all day. Oh, fuck you! Can you help me get my stuff? It's not safe to get out here. Oh, but you're going to let me get out here. So you won't tell me who you are, where you're going. I'd rather not say if that's okay. Well, it doesn't have legs. Oh my God, did we not have legs? If you say so. As someone who isn't say so. How, I, how exactly I don't is planned? <laughs> All according to Kaycock. So is the ghost? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe I'm just boring a quest. There, quest three. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was the battery. No, it wasn't. It's an old car. That's it? I think so. Cars need three things to run. Air, explosion, and electricity. Oh, yes, the three elements. Air, explosion, and electric. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? I didn't listen to a single word. He really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Left mouse bumper to talk. Oh, hell yeah. So is it true? What, the monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are there are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them and they don't bother you. What does that mean? What does that mean though? You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Okay, you know what? Thank you. Apology accepted, Bruce Willis stand-in. 12.08 a.m. Wow, we drove for two hours. After a little bit of small talk, you dropped me off by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. 
Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. He seemed nice. Bye. Let's go talk to Jimmy Jam, man, whoever. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. He, he He's just standing there. Gal need a room to shack up for the night? Uh, yes, I'm only going to be here for a few hours. How much is it for a room? $40 for a single. Pay cash only. Room number nine, right over there. Exuding creepy vibe. Talk about the car. 90 Tommy do $90 Tommy will take care of it the next thing in the morning. Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Leave. Well, now, if you put it that way, sir. You miss Cell Robber Gas Station. <laughs> we, we may have stolen a bunch of milk. <gasps> Ooh! Is this real Superman? Paramount presents a Max Fleischer cartoon in Technicolor. The Mechanical Monsters. Is this like actually okay? Is, is Superman open? I didn't need it. Superman is canon. Hold on. How much of this plays? I'll leave that running, I guess. We just have Superman on the TV in the background. Are you kidding? Scared <laughs> the crap out of me. I closed the door on him, so like the cutscenes through the door. You are creepy as The number one Superman fan is here. What are you doing here? <laughs> Who are you? I'm Tommy, room service here at Roadway Inn, the finest stopover in Norwood. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. My man just put a camera in the toilet. I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. My man just put a camera in the toilet. No, we get a different room. Hold on, can we trick him? Hold on. Oh my god, it uses your microphone! Ah! <laughs> More games need to use your mic. Yeah, it's a shame that like Alien Isolation doesn't. See that one horror game where if you scream it ends? Wait, what? Okay, DM that to me. Hi, Tommy. Hey, fucking put those away from me, bellboy. So far, this game is incredible. It's super good. Maybe we will do the others. Even though I spoiled like the, the killer for the, sec uh, the third game because of... Uh, again, I want to shout out the Steam Reviewer! Who put the fucking name or like, in all the identifying information in the first paragraph of your eight paragraph review? Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Maybe we will do them all because this is really strong. This is super strong. I, I saw clips of this and I thought it was going to be, you know, Chilla's art where it's parts of it are really good. Parts of it are kind of like, eh, but they're a vehicle to get you around. This whole thing has been really fantastic. There's been some good, genuine, unsettling moments had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also, that was very rude and loud. And also, the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> but you have a good night. How do you do that? Oh, we came in! Superman destroys mechanical monsters! Uh, Superman vanishes again. Inventor jailed. Millions in stolen jewels recovered. Why is there like a woozy? What is this? This is not how sleeping works. This is not what it feels like to be asleep. Uh, hey, excuse me. Hey, what are you doing? Call it foresight, but there was something very off about that place. Why are you the way that you are? Didn't want to sleep anymore. Only coffee could help me stay up. <gasps> in espresso! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Cowfee. <laughs> I don't like some more cowfee. 
What is happening? What is this? What is happening? Hold on. I thought this was a cutscene. What is happening? Oh, there was some botulism in that cow fee or something. Superman will cheer me up. He's back! Why can't you see your text messages? <laughs> Watch Superman while high. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go sleep. Bro ate the entire edible. 3.18 a.m. Bro, someone's in my closet. It. There, he's not getting out of there. <sighs> Superman. <laughs> Stop! Leave me alone. I am in here enjoying, there's no, I, oh, you look friendly actually, hold on. Who is it? <laughs> Joe from the front desk, open the door. Hi. Come on, close that fucking door. God, I probably look like a schizophrenic person to this this man. I am. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! All right, hold on, let's try that again. Joe from the front desk, open the door. All right, hi Joe, can I come outside? I'm scared, I don't wanna be in here anymore. There's something in my room. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? Oh, I watched too much Superman. I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that, why are your eyes all red? Mention the coffee machine. You messing with me? You don't have no coffee machine around here. It's right over there. Okay. Okay, here. I've had enough of your crazy... Of you crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one. Follow me. I hate my job. Lead Joe. Joe, you want to watch Superman with me? We can watch Superman. Just that... Wait. Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's take Joe over to the... There is definitely no coffee machine. It's gone. What kind of person brings a whole ass espresso machine to drug people? I'm sorry. That's wild to me. Where is it now? He said go back now. There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. What? Why do you just have medication? Why do you have medication for this as if there's no coffee machine? Yet you have the anti-venom. That seems a little sus. That seems a little suspicious to me. Also, I don't like that there's a guy in my room. We gonna talk about this? We gonna talk about the crazy man in my closet that fucking moved? Are we gonna talk about that? We gonna talk about the crazy man that's like definitely not in the closet anymore? Hello. All right, why, why is it whispering hello to me? Why is it whispering hello? Someone's definitely outside. Hello. Wait, do you mean someone's at the door outside? Oh, who is it? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help, please. No, fuck you. I'm not opening that door. No, I'm staying at, nope. I know you're in there. Yeah, I, I'm looking at you. I know you're out there. <laughs> Please leave. Nope. I'm gonna go back to sleep. I don't need this. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna enjoy my cartoons. I know you're. No, I'm not. I'm enjoying Superman. I love Superman. Yay, USA. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. <laughs>
Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. No, let's just call the cops. Just call the cops. Say go away. I'm not scared of you anymore. I'm not afraid. Pretty lady. Ah! <laughs> How are you doing that? Oh. Uh... Can can stuff just stop breaking? Oh my god, I have to run through this again. Are you kidding me? What is it with, like, okay. This is why I only stream FF. Because every other game I try, I just run into these problems. And I feel like I don't see other streamers running into these problems where the game just falls apart at random intervals. I don't play games like a, a, a weird magical beta tester who somehow finds bugs as if they're second nature to them. Like, I don't, I don't think I do. There's no way this developer ensured there's collision on everything. <laughs> Let's see what happens if we get too many physics calculations at once going. I think I just play the game. What if I stand in front of the truck? Is this bad? Should I not be doing this? Oh no. Oh no, he pushed us through a barrier. How do, wait, can we not get back? And then stuff just, breaks and i don't know what to do can we have a normal horror game stream please the last three games the last three like horror based streams that we've done the games have just fallen apart at the most random moments granted i will accept that right there that may have been a little bit my fault i did hop in front of a truck that was obviously going to go out of bounds to despawn and uh, i hitched a ride and I had ample opportunity to remove myself from the front of said vehicle. Oh, 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 hold on. Hold on. There's a person. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Ha! Ha! Hold on! Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to have to play this, like, like again. I, I want to know if you can catch up to that guy. That's so good. That's so good to have. Like, oh, I can whisper to you guys now. ASMR stream. <laughs> That's super good to have the the like door turn transparent. That's so good. Oh, I love that. Should I should I go talk to him? He hasn't started knocking or saying hello. Should I talk to him? What should I do? Should I go talk to him? I don't know what I should do. Stop pinging me. What should I do? He's still out there. Who is it? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? Please open the door. Please leave. Go away or I'm going to call the cops. All right. Yep. Yep. All right. Okay. Now I got to be quiet. Are you sure about that? Shh. 
Sam Fisher, Splinter Cell. (laughs) (laughs) To this day, I find it really weird that the manager interfered not to get police involved as it would have affected the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. There we go. That's that's the that's the end. That was good. I like that. I like that. That was really good. So dumb ending. I don't think it was dumb. I don't know if every ending needs to be this big bombastic thing. It was just a little internet story. That was good. Well, I'd say it was a good stream. We beat a game. We beat a game. We did a thing. Bye, though. Have a good time. Appreciate y'all.